What exactly is it about this encounter that upset and anguished him? One of the slain civilians lives almost right across the road from my house and his father was a village headman uh, and his children, I've seen his children Altaf around Ahmed and Dad, I've seen that you've his spoken children about. grow up. This is Altaf, right. Altaf Ahmed Bhatt, he's actually Altaf Ahmed Bhatt. Okay. Yes. But, yeah. and, and, and uh, you know this whole thing that you know first the police said that you know he was an OGW and then they said oh he was a civilian and he was shot dead. Uh, so much inarticulation, so much contempt in the face of such a tragedy, mm. it was heartbreaking, it's disheartening and you know, I've, uh, you know when I pass uh, the area where they live, I just bow down my head in shame. Uh, it could have been handled better. Uh, now that a probe has been ordered, it is also a magisterial probe. NHRC guidelines and Supreme Court observations mandate a magisterial probe in every encounter, right. even if a combatant is killed in an encounter. A policeman does not have uh, the free and arbitrary right or a security force personnel to take a life. What was demanded unanimously across the board, Srinivasan, in this instance was a judicial probe hmm. with some element of neutrality and independence and impartiality. Right. In the atmosphere that we are living in today, as the mayor of this city, hmm. I will tell you it's a very cruel joke to expect a poor ADM or an SDM go against the version of the Inspector General of Police. He, that ADM or SDM is not going to be able to do that. That, that atmosphere of um, investigative independence and truth sadly doesn't exist right now.